I start every makeup. I always prep the skin first. But keep a lot of love on the skin, guy. You should always remember because you want to look like this when you're 60. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been modeling now? I started modeling when I was 14 and oh then I God. took 30 years off of modeling. And then I, um, I just came back to modeling a couple years ago when I went gray. Well, I didn't go gray, I just decided to not color my hair. <laughs> Well, the color is amazing. I think, like, I mean, it's a great choice for sure. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And what made you start this channel? I always want to have a YouTube channel, but I actually really hate my voice. And uh, for the longest time, I was very insecure about my voice. When I talked to people from YouTube, and they was like, you know, people are gonna find something beautiful about that. So you have to learn that. I always think that we should love everything about yourself. But mm. as everyone, they think about ourselves that we don't love and. Mm. My voice was one of them. 10 years ago, I went to a contract meeting with a beauty brand. The next day, they emailed my agent that my hand was so big. They did like a camera test also. Uh, they don't think it's the right person for them. And one of the reasons was my hand is so big. And that made me more even insecure about my hand. Even on Instagram, some of the makeup, I, uh, I do a little video. And people will say, you're right, your hand is really big. And then, so that the two part of them was the hand and the voice, because that's what you're going to see most on camera. But you know what? If I really want to do something, I should do Otherwise, you're always going to find reason not to do it. Absolutely. I mean, look, your hands, first of all, are not big. Your hands are smaller than my hands are, right? But isn't it funny how the internet sometimes, it, it, yeah. it, it, so many people find reason to fault and to criticize, and it's just so destructive. I know they're always going to find something. Even like for me, they always ask me to find someone who older mm -hmm. for um, makeup for the channel. But you know, of course, I love every face, every age. It's just because not a lot of people be confident enough to show their bare face on the internet, really. And they don't want to hear all the critiques from the internet because sometimes they're not very kind. The reason I'm asking you also, I know you're older, but at least you're in the business, so you are fully aware those things, it doesn't bother you. Absolutely. Way, yeah. No, you know, you have to develop a really thick skin. Mm -hmm. um, I don't ever think of myself, it's not defined by what I look like, it's who I am inside. Yeah. So everyone's perception of, of, of me can be different from what I believe myself to be. And that's what's consistent, you know. And I have this thing, you know, Hung, uh, there's no such thing as perfection. Of course. And I, I think we need to be able to embrace our imperfections at, because they make us us. For every makeup, I will always keep a lot of love on skin. I'm going to use mainly drugstore products for the makeup look today. But for skincare, Heather are these her favorites, so I want to maintain the same skincare. They don't sell in drugstore, but you can get it everywhere. Little serum first. I always overhydrate the skin. If it's too much, I can always blot it after. But I love how the skin really, really hydrated. I think it's perfect for makeup. Give the skin a little more love. Give a little massage. The famous hung massage. <laughs> Just 
to start every makeup. For today look, I would love to create shaharu skin, also again luminous skin and just really strong smoky eye and a rich red lip. I think it would be look amazing on her. Give her skin a little soothing serum. I love this eye cream. Sometimes I use the extra just around the last mile line. Again, always give some love for the neck and the chest. When you do skin prep, you should consider face and the neck as well. I think it's part of the face. Kirsten have incredible skin. I'm gonna try to keep all the freckles, keep the skin radiant by just applying a little serum moisturizer. But for foundation, I'm gonna give very, very natural and sheer. It's all about the skin prep, so I'm gonna take a little time to prep the skin really well. I always use a little eye cream. I never avoid the eye area. I think the eyes is the most delicate area 
and we use a lot of blending and buffing and everything around the area. I think it's better just really hydrate and well prep the skin around there as well. Keep some love on your neck as always. I think the neck is the first area that you see your age, so <laughs> maintain that by giving it a lot of love. And I think people always forget that. To start every makeup, I always start with skincare. Doesn't matter if it's on the male or female. I'm going to try a little lip balm first. This lip balm from Zara have a tiny bit of the pearl in there. Sometimes it's nice, I use this. For later, I will use a highlighter as well. For eye cream, I'm using a little bit from Fortuna's skin. Close your eye. Also a little serum from them. And this serum is great for aftershave. And some moisturizer from Algatinus. I think it doesn't matter if it's a male or female, taking care of the skin is part of grooming. So I think it's important, you know, you should use a little serum, moisturizer, lip balm, eye cream. Close your eye. And of course, you can always give a little face massage. To start every makeup, I always do skincare prep. Doesn't matter what age you are, I think skincare prep is the key. The lip balm I'm using is from Tatcha. That's the first product I'm using. For eye cream, I'm going to use the Youth Eye Treatment from IS Clinical. Close your eyes a little bit. 
and really, really gentle around the eye area. For toner serum, I'm using from Augustina Butter. This is a great serum toner that it helps to exfoliate the skin at the same time. When your skin a little more mature, moisturizer is definitely your best friend. I know people can get away a lot when they was 15, but when you're over 25, you need to start taking care of the skin earlier. And then I'm using some rich cream from August and it batter. Beth has amazing skin. You see the texture of her skin is really tight. The pores are very, very tiny. You can't even see her pores. I think it's because she's always taking care of skin. That's something you guys all should learn. And always give the skin some love. Give the skin a little massage. To start every makeup, I always prep the skin first. First, I'm using some lip balm. This one is from Laneige. I used many times before. The next product I'm using is Sowa Shoe. It is a serum from them. It is great under makeup. It's called Activating Serum. Just press the product in the skin. I know I do the same like this every week, but if I edit out, you guys don't want me to, so I still have to show every single step. The next products I'm using is the eye cream. Always very gentle around the eye area. And the last product is the Chingsing Moisturizer. This moisturizer you guys also see me use many times before. It's a very beautiful moisturizer under makeup. It's more a richer moisturizer. If you want something lighter, this might not be the right one for you. But it's really beautiful, very rich, very calming. Always deep up your face a little bit. Give your face a little massage.
When I do on the client, I usually have them lean back like this. And I always really work on the muscle. So if you can do on the client or someone, do on someone, this would be the best way for you to do. As every makeup, I always prep the skin. Even Kate has flawless skin. She still needs all the hydration. <laughs> <laughs> Next step, I'm using a little bit of the vitamin C serum from Cora Organics. I think this is a great serum for people who have pigmentation, need something a bit more for brightening the skin. I think it's great. You can just press into the skin. I'm using a little eye oil. Also from Miranda's brand? From Miranda, one of your favorite. It's fabulous. Yeah. The last one is a little oil. You can press on the skin or you can use this to give the face a little massage to wake the skin up. Kate, what you normally use on your face at home? I clean with oil. Yeah. And then I use a moisturizer and then I put oil over top. Okay, so basically you just use the oil to like, yeah, and lock I do everything. a little massage too because yeah. it feels good. Yeah. I feel like my skin looks like you taught me to but massage I think, it. I think that's the best way to like wake the skin up in the morning for sure, yeah. But also just to look better. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I think it's give a lot of like low in hydration. I think the skin look really youthful in a lot of ways, yeah. Before every makeup, prepping skin is always the key for me. To start every makeup, I always prep the skin. For makeup for wedding, I prep the skin even more so. Just because you want the makeup to last all day, the skin stay really fresh, and the prepping come way more important than your normal everyday makeup. I always put some lip balm first, just to hydrate the skin. The second part I'm going to use is Calming Serum. For this day, I think if you want the skin feel really relaxed, calm, you don't want the skin to get irritated with anything, and it's a perfect time to really take care of the skin, prep the skin for this. Before the skin prep today, I actually only do a little face scrub, a face mask, and an eye mask on Nipah on Ready. Second product is eye cream. Important to prep the skin around the eye before makeup as well. You can always blot up all the excess moisture, close the eye, if you like after, but it's always better to prep some eye cream around there. Close your eye. 
for face cream, I'm going to use the face cream from Dr. Barbara Sturm as well. If you watch any of my video before, I like to overhydrate the skin first, blot them before makeup. I never like the idea of under hydration because I think the skin doesn't take foundation very well, makeup doesn't last as long. That's just my personal preference. I know some people, they just use a little primer and they get ready to do makeup, but I'm the opposite of that. Then give your face a little waking up. If you do somebody makeup for the wedding, your energy is going to translate to her. So try to keep the process really calm, give her very relaxing facial. It's actually going to help her to calm down as well. Going to make your job go even easier. To start heavy makeup, I always do some skincare prep for the lips and use some lip balm from Laneige. For the eye, I'm going to use this new eye cream from Fenty. The eye cream does also come with this little tune like this, it's a cooling tune. And I think it's a great idea. You can also do a little cooling like this around the eye to pop the eye if you like. It feels nice on the eyes, right? Yeah. I think this is great in the morning. You can do that for a few seconds. Close your eye. You can do that. And then you can also leave on the fridge and do a little cooling. When you have time, you just use this alone if you like to, to depop the eye. Close your eye. You can spend more time on that part if you like, but it does come with the eye cream. And I'm using a little bit of the eye cream after. You can use the tune first, or you can use with the eye cream and use the tune. Either way, it still does a lot. Close your eye for me. The eye area is the most delicate area, so try to be super gentle. Even you do a little massage, always go very gentle on the eye area. I'm going to use some serum from Suwashu. This is a Korean brand, but you can get it everywhere. It is a very hydrating serum. The best way to apply serum, you just, just press into the skin first and then you can distribute a little bit after if you like. For face cream today, I'm using the same brand. Face cream, again, just press on the skin first.
and then you can do a little massage after. I know not everyone have a lot of time in the morning to get ready, but I think if you spend an extra minute or two to depop the face, you're gonna look very radiant when you put makeup on. To start every makeup, as always, you hear me talk all the time. I always prep the skin with skincare really well. And today, everything I'm using is from the line Hydra Beauty from Chanel. I just used some lip balm. Now is the serum. I like to press the serum into the skin and keep in mind in order to achieve flawless makeup skincare is play a huge part on that make sure you prep the skin really well the foundation is gonna go on smoothly the skin is gonna look so radiant and it's so important Christina have beautiful skin, but I still encourage her to take care of the skin as well. And I know that even if you have good skin or not, you still need to prep the skin because that way the foundation is going to look flawless, seamless together. I also can apply a little eye cream. Some moisturizer. To start every makeup, 
as I always say, give the skin a lot of love. I'm using a little lip balm from the collaboration of Color Gloss and Estee Lauder. Next, I'm using eye cream from Is Clinical. Close the eye. Close. Some serum. It's so soothing, yeah. <laughs> Feel nice, right? Moisturizer. And I always like to massage the face, wake the skin up. Today, as I mentioned, is I'm gonna do a more natural makeup look, but even for natural makeup, I still want to prep the skin really well, as always. I usually like to use a little serum on the face, lip balm, eye cream, and moisturizer. For daytime, I usually like more a vitamin C serum. I think it does help to brighten the skin a little bit. Uh, but there's a lot of brand out there. And make sure some of the product you use is they are good to use under makeup as well. And always spend an extra minute or two, give your face a little massage. That way it helps to wake up the skin before your makeup. To start every makeup, I always prep skin first. The first product I use is Laneige Lip Balm. This is one of my favorite lip balm to prep under makeup they do give a little sheen so if you apply a matte lipstick you can always blot down the sheen first so it doesn't change the texture the second product i'm using is so what shoe first care activating serum this is also one of my favorite serum it is really beautiful and it's great under makeup as well. You can press in the skin or you can rub it on, but the best way to apply serum is do the way I do right now. It just really press the products in.
Next product I'm using is the Concentrated Chingsing Renewing Eye Cream. I use a little bit under the eye area. I also apply a little bit on the eyelid. I like to really hydrate the skin everywhere. If it's too much, you can always blot it off after, but just really let the product soak in. It's really hydrating the skin, really depop the skin before you start makeup. The next product is also from Sewashu. It is the Concentrated Ginseng Renewing Face Cream. This is one of the most beautiful face cream that I use to be honest and it's great to use under makeup as well. It does give a lot of shine and it's quite a rich moisturizer. If you like something lighter, this is definitely not the one for you. But I like moisturizer, always a bit more richer and then if it's too much, again, I can always blot it off before I apply makeup. Always give your face a little massage, depop the skin, take out all the little knots that you feel on the face because that from all the expression you make every day. Before every makeup, as always, I'm gonna start with skincare prep for the lips. I'm gonna use a little bit of lip balm from Summer Friday. And as I mentioned on the intro, if you have a face like this, it's the waste if you're not gonna paint it on. <laughs> so, no, I shouldn't say that. But Jasmine looks amazing with no makeup. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. We're gonna lay it up with the makeup. So um, I don't want to see any comment that says she's gorgeous without makeup. We understand that. The point for me doing this video is to share ideas, technique, inspiration. It's not about makeover. It's not about transformation. I always think makeup is only an accessory is never a must for me so if you like it go for it and if you don't you don't have to wear it no one need to wear makeup at all they just want to wear makeup so Jasmine do you have any beauty tips that you want to share to the viewer because you have incredible skin so what do you normally do or my biggest thing is just making sure that I remember to take off all my makeup. Yeah. Um, not sleeping in it, trying... Um, do you do double cleansing? Because I think that's important. I do, and I've also been using, I don't know what it's called, but like just a, a little machine that helps exfoliate yeah. and really taking the time to deep clean my pores and especially moisturizing and lots and lots of water. If the viewer don't know what I mean by double cleansing is that usually if you wear a lot of makeup and just a normal cream cleanser or gel cleanser it doesn't take all your makeup off and I would recommend you to use like a, a balm like a cleansing balm first and they take all the makeup off and then you rinse it off and you use a gel or cream cleanser just to do the second cleanse. I always like to spend a little time 
give some love to the face. A little massage. I was gonna say it's the massages for me. Yeah. <laughs> for me, I think it's so important. Always so relaxed in your chair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's the key. I think makeup is your enjoying time, relaxing time. To start every makeup, I always prep the skincare first. The first product I use is the Naturium Lip Balm. I'm going to use the whole line of Naturium today. Not the whole line, but like all the skin prep product I use going to be from Naturium. It's not sponsored, but I think it's a great brand that affordable and it's great. And then second product I'm using is the vitamin C serum. I like to use vitamin C serum in the morning. I think they great to keep you that brightness, help with dark circle and pigmentation and everything. You can just press the serum into the skin. The next product I'm using is the eye cream. I know a lot of people don't use eye cream, they just use moisturizer. But the thing you should. I think skincare is an investment. Even spending a little money on your skincare is important. I know sometimes I use very expensive product because I'm lucky that I get from a lot of these from PR packaging but if you can't try to get product that suit your budget I think this product is pretty affordable and I know affordable is different for everyone but for the price point they sell in you get really great products the last product I'm use is the rich moisturizer this is a great moisturizer under makeup it's more a richer moisturizer. If you like a lighter moisturizer, this might not be the right one for you. But I usually like a richer moisturizer under makeup. Give some love to the skin always. To start every makeup, I prep the skincare first. First product I'm using is Summer Friday Lip Balm. This is a beautiful lip balm. I always like to use this cap lip balm under makeup. The second product I'm using is Berber Cooling Eye Stick from Nimia Beauty. This is a great eye stick to prime your eye under makeup. They help to depop, they have caffeine to wake the eye up and to prime the eye area really well. I always use a little eye cream, really hydrate the eye area. The next product I'm using is Lysenti Glow Serum. This is also a product from Nimia Beauty. It is really great serum under makeup make sure to shake them first before you use them it gives you beautiful radiancy the glow from within even the look I'm doing today is more a matte finish I still like to use a little bit of the glow serum just to have some glow from within it doesn't have to be shiny 
but I want the skin to look still radiant. And this serum, you can also mix with foundation as well. If you want a radiance, like it's like a, a nice soft glow when you put in the foundation. For moisturizer, I'm going to use Nimia where it all started, face cream. This is a primer and face cream hybrid. It is a fantastic face cream under makeup. I just got this recently. It is a line from Nikki Tutorial. I think we all know she loved to prime the skin really well before makeup. And I think she got this pretty well. Always give your skin a lot of love. Give the face a little massage. to the pop. Begin every makeup. I always like to give some love on the skin. And we have Gita here. Gita is a makeup artist, so she's gonna give you guys a lot more tips on top of what I'm gonna give to you guys. I don't know, I highly doubt that, but I'm gonna be asking you questions, I'm sure. The crazy thing about people give me a hard time is I always massage the skin so much and I always massage it down. And for me, it's more like a lymphatic massage mm -hmm. because that's how you drain all the water retention on the face, especially before makeup. So you always have to pull it down. But people didn't understand that. They just say, you're being rough on the face. You should always brush it up. Yes, I had a client grab my hand and she was just like, up, 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 always up. And I tried to explain that to her, about the drainage. And she was not having it. And I, do, I think I need, I need some <laughs> lymphatic help. Do you always take a lot of time to prep the skin before makeup as well? because I think that's the most important part for me. That's how the makeup stay really well on the skin and the skin looks so radiant. I agree. I mean, my aesthetic is sort of more of a natural yeah. kind of finish. So for me, skin is almost 50% of the look. Yeah. You know, if someone's skin looks amazing, then, you know, I'm sort of halfway there. That's how I feel. And yeah, prep, skin prep is so important. Yeah. And guy, this is 46 year old look like. Can you imagine this? <laughs> <laughs> I know when Hung asked me to do this, I just, I think I sent you like 10 grandma emojis. <laughs> and I was like, maybe he's got the wrong number. <laughs> I've also had nothing, you know, I've never done Botox, anything. I mean, I'm lucky if I get a facial, which I shouldn't say that, but I'm just too busy, you know, but I've never done that. So I, might, I guess my face looks a little different than a lot of the faces that you often see on camera. Gita is the perfect balance that most makeup artists want. I mean, have a family, have kids, and still have a full-time job. Because I think for me, even I'm single and I have no kids, but I find the balance, work and personal life is so hard for me, for sure. It's really hard, but it's so important. You really have to have that balance, because at the end of the day, you know, what will you remember? As always, I start with skin prep. First, a little lip balm. Some eye cream. Okay. And try not to put the eye cream too close to the lash line. The reason because sometimes it gets into the eyes, could get irritated or it does travel. I'm using a little serum. You press the serum into the skin. Just let them really absorb into the skin before you apply the moisturizer.
I always encourage people to use serum and moisturize all your necks as well. I think it should seamlessly from the top to the chest. When I go for a facial, if someone just want to do the face from here and not down here, I know they're not the right facialist for me. <laughs> I think they should take care of the whole thing. Last step, I'm going to use moisturizer. For every makeup look, I always start with cleansing the face, even their face fresh up from the shower. I think it's just because you don't know what they use on their face. Some moisturizer is not so great for foundation. It can roll the foundation. So for me, it's important to start with what you know best. Hey, Columbo. Bobo set. Hey. Hey. You're gonna have to go downstairs. Baby, will you call him? <laughs> always hydrate the lips and I usually leave the lip balm on the lips while working on the makeup. It's gonna take away all the dryness and stop and everything. My favorite when you moisturize my <laughs> skincare routine is the best routine. <laughs> I always feel my skin always feels the best even the next yeah. day. Right now I'm just add a little essence to the face. I think this is more like a serum but very light. It's not too heavy. It's almost like water, but it's just hydrating water on the face. For me, hydration is the key. I always overhydrate the skin first, and then if it's too much, I can always blot the moisturizer off. I think it's important uh, the skin is really hydrated when you do makeup. The glow, the shine, everything is come out from within when you hydrate the skin really well. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Like I said earlier, I always overhydrate everything and then if you need to blot it out after you can especially around the eye i think a lot of time when you put eye makeup the skin look very dry and i think it's good just to make it really hydrated first before you start let's give you a little color it's nice what is that it's like a new moisturizer from mm. victoria i love that love i have a little it's more for summer, perfect summer. Oh, I haven't had my makeup done in so long. I haven't done any makeup since Paris. Were you just losing your mind? I was losing my mind. What did you do? Did you do your own makeup at all? No, I really? think I wish I could do my own oh, makeup. Yeah. I was trying to, I was going to say, you know, I'm going to do some makeup tutorial. Yeah, just do your own Insta Live, but it's too much. Too much. Yeah. But I think that's the reason why I was like, I got to do the YouTube thing. I mm -hmm. think it's great what people actually see. I mean, I shouldn't even hide behind the camera yeah. anymore. I mean, you know, I've been wanting you to do this for forever. Yeah. So. <laughs> a lot of time, I think makeup is so personal, mm -hmm. and um, you know, like what I do, it doesn't mean it's gonna work for everyone, mm -hmm. and um, so everyone have the way to do their own makeup and the way they do makeup, and I just don't want people to feel that I'm teaching anything. I just want to share. So if we work. The way I do, they take some one or two tips, it's work for them, it's right. great. If it doesn't, then they can do the same way they always do. I mean, I've learned so much from you, it's crazy. Thank you. Just from watching you do my makeup so Thank many you. times, so it's like, I feel like the world is getting a beautiful gift. This is what I always use, and people always ask what I use to apply foundation. It's a body a sponge, and uh, I like it. This sponge, I feel that it's applied, the foundation is amazing and you know I use brush and everything but I always go back to this one. <laughs>